Welcome to Missouri Earth Movers. In today's video, I just want to go over the basics of how a hydraulic system works and the direction of flow. This will be the first video in a few uh, videos that I'm doing in a series on hydraulic systems. I'd like to cover every component, uh, different stuff that they make, uh, the way it works, all kinds of stuff like that. So uh, let's start out here. Basically, you got your reservoir. That's where all your hydraulic fluid would be stored. This would be located on the machine, obviously. And sometimes they'll also have a cooler, which is not shown here, but sometimes they have coolers for these systems to keep the hydraulic fluid from getting too hot and therefore might uh, break down the fluid's uh, lubricating abilities. And basically, what a hydraulic system is, is basically it uses uh, multiplication to force a non-compressible liquid, which is a hydraulic fluid, uh, through a small orifice, basically, and push a cylinder back and forth. Um, so, okay, moving on, here is your reservoir, and then your direction of flow here is uh, indicated by these arrows. And you have a filter, you always have to have a filter because stuff just, it'll get in there no matter how good the seals are. Uh, just like the, you know, like I'm saying with heat and the breakdown of the fluid and everything. Uh, if anything gets inside of there, when someone takes the cap off to fill it, a little piece of dirt falls in. Uh, you always got to have a filter. Sometimes they have multiple filters, actually. Um, moving on, we have the pump. There are several types of pumps here. This is like a gear-style pump. Uh, and you want to move it up here. And then you have the, um, the control valve. And this is actually where your hand would go, and you'd retract or extend to move your cylinder here. And the way this control valve basically works is you have the flow that comes in here and then it can go uh, there's two inlet outlet ports here these are uh, in and out go to the cylinder here um, and basically this line here will push your cylinder in and then this line here will push your cylinder out so basically this one will extend the hydraulic cylinder out and this hose here will retract it back then you have this line here which basically takes any additional pressure or additional fluid and basically returns it to the hydraulic reservoir and that is the basics of how a hydraulic system works now modern hydraulics there's multiple cylinders multiple valves usually just a central uh, reservoir and there might be multiple pumps multiple filters uh, hydraulic lines going everywhere they use uh, steel lines and then they also use like a rubber type uh, flexible line and like I said uh, in, f in future videos in this series I'm going to cover um, hydraulic cylinders, reservoirs, the fluid, control valves, pretty much everything that you want to know about hydraulic systems in your modern excavation uh, equipment or anything that uses a hydraulic cylinder uh, I'm going to cover it so uh, stay tuned for those videos, uh, and I hope you guys enjoy this. If you do, please leave a comment, and uh, if there's any questions that you have, uh, leave them in the comments or send me a personal message, and uh, please stay tuned for more videos, guys. Uh, thanks for watching. See you guys later.